Hey, it's John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com. It's a smash beer video. And this time around, it's for Apollo Hops. We uh, brew a small batch of uh, beer, one malt, one hop, and then we talk about what the hops are all about. So this was uh, for Apollo Hop 17.1% alpha acid. And so lots of late addition. So I boiled for 60 minutes. The first addition actually went in at 15 minutes to go, left to go in the boil. And I put in three grams or one eighth of an ounce of the packet into the boil. And then right at flame out, it was five eighths of an ounce or around 18 grams of hot pellets went in there. And then we dry hopped at uh, day three of fermentation. I added uh, a quarter of, uh, of an ounce of the hops or seven grams of, of the hops went into that and then kegged it at day 10 and uh, here we go. So this is Apollo hops. Um, suppose it was, a, it was a requested hop variety like a few people want to get us to do a smash uh, beer with this so hopefully your dreams have been fulfilled. Uh, Mike, what do you think about this beer? Um, the aroma is throwing me off a little bit at mm. first, uh, but it's warmed up a little bit and I keep on swirling it around. What I get is like a, the, the most prominent thing I actually get is, is lychees. Yeah. Like lychees, like white grape almost, or maybe like a severely underripe white peach. That's a, a, peach was the thing that I got. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I want to call it peach. It's just not quite there because there's a little bit of like a, 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 a weird, like um, in the fruit world, a dankness to it that is more lychee, like canned lychees, right? <laughs> never Which had. I love lychees. You never had lychees? But oh, I'll get you some lychees. lychees. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them are canned. So Are they? Okay. But anyway, um, so so there's that. And then, then on the flavor, actually, it's interesting. I don't really get, I mean, you hopped it late, so there really is like zero bitterness to speak of. And I get a little bit of the same thing. There's like a fruity quality to it that's really more of that... I really get more of like a white grape, uh, white wine mm. type of presence, maybe like a white grape skin type of tannic quality to it. But it's it's subtle, it's muted, it's not, if, for, for a hop that's like 17 alpha, um, it's pretty soft yeah. and subtle. Yeah, and um, yeah, it gets kind of pulled through in, in the flavor that uh, peachy, um, aroma, but then it, then there's like kind of a there is kind of a resiny dankness yeah. in the aftertaste. Yeah, it's warming up, and I'm starting to get that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like transitioning from that fruit character to almost like a minty thing, mm. and then drifting now towards grassy dank a little bit. But it's not for 70. percent It is nowhere near being like Heck aggressively no. dank. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's not as. Uh, as pungent as we as we've had some other varieties. Mm -hmm. So here's a funny thing. Like I did some just like just research from different uh, sites talking about the descriptors of this hop, and like the the uh, the predominant uh, flavor characteristic is like grapefruit or citrus, and I'm not getting it here. I think, I think people mistake pithiness and go, oh, that's grapefruit. I see. But to me, like you have to distinguish. You have to say grapefruit pith or peel or the flesh. I mean, there's three different flavors mm. to oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits, tangerines, all that stuff. Yeah. It's not, it's certainly not grapefruit flesh, like a Centennial or a Cascade, right? It's yeah. mostly pith. It's that white part if you're just really lazy about peeling your grapefruit. <laughs> and we are, because it's like, you know, five o'clock in the morning. Back in the days when I used to commute to work, you know, you know, I just eat the rind and all. It's just like, I gotta get out of here, man. The commute's gonna be awful. <laughs> yeah, so that's not really there. Yeah. Uh, what I am getting, like the other descriptors were resinous, dank, and then even cannabis. Okay. And I think that's why a lot of people were asking us Ooh. to, yeah, because they yeah. wanted to see if that was actually a thing. And then piney, which I guess kind of sure. blends in with To that. me, that all falls under pith. Yeah. It's just pithy, yeah. right? And, but you know, uh, it's it's pleasant. It's a drinkable hop. Yep. Uh, um, but it, it doesn't scream out any one of these flavors to me. Um, it's fairly balanced. Yeah, it's balanced. In its presentation. And it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's one of those beers. So like I think there's some varieties we have some, and it's like okay, this could actually stand alone. Yeah. And I think it does. 
Um, I'd I like think, to actually get a fresher yeah. batch of it too. So hard, so yeah. hard. I think that um, combining this with a couple of the others we've done that have like that green melon, white grape thing, yeah. Yeah. you might be able to get enough layering to actually achieve like a true like Chardonnay type of white winey mm. thing with a little bit of a pithy balance to it. Um, and if that's what you're into, I mean, that would, it would work. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know if like as a smash beer, this is something that I, I would find terribly interesting. Um, because if I didn't know what we were doing, the, the initial aroma would be a little bit off-putting. Yeah. Right? Um, it takes a little bit to sort of dive through that aroma. Because at first it's a little bit of sulfury. Peach is sort of sulfury, mm. right? And so, but it's not really peachy, which is how then I got to lychees, so. Canned lychees at that. Canned lychees. Can't if you wait. can find fresh lychees, man, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so that's that. I think that uh, this would be good to, to blend. So you're saying Nelson Savine would be the uh, yes. Would be yeah, the, pairing the pair. this with something like that. Yeah, and a Huel melon. Yes. Right. Oh, now we're getting. Boom, now we're going to the library. We're that's, starting to get good. Yeah, we're getting. We, we know what we're talking good. about. Excellent. So yeah, pair this with that. I think this is for, for people who might looking for like a strong dankiness. I don't think this is it, um, but certainly it has those characteristics in it. But I still think that. Like he said, more the you know the the peachy melon sort of soft fruit flavors. Yeah. If you want to pair that, like really kind of nail it home with two other varieties that sort of have those same kind of characteristics, I think that would be a great beer. This would be a good underlaying hop for like your Galaxy, your your yep. your Mosaic, your Eldorado, right? Totally. We got some traffic. It's a UPS truck coming, so hey. you know everything. They're waving at us, so cheers to you guys, working hard. Yep, keep working. What can Brown do for you? <laughs> well, can it deliver me beer? Probably without a, you know, without a permit, no. It'd be amazing if like one of my homebrew deliveries showed up while we're <laughs> right shooting video. Right at the same time, yeah. we just went up. Woo, unboxing video! <laughs> there you go, like spontaneous unboxing video. All right, thanks awesome. for watching. Appreciate the uh, time, and I uh, hope you got something out of this uh, smash video tasting. Um, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We put a video up every week, and uh, if you want to get notified, you can do that too if you want to. If not, leave a comment below because, you know, we'd love to hear your ex experience with this hop variety too. When I was looking, like, it didn't seem like there was a lot of um, recent years on this variety. Mm, yeah. So I, I wonder if it's just, like, not uh, readily available to the homebrew crowd. Sure, sure. Uh, just putting it out there, not sure. But anyway, maybe this is a rarity. People will be like, oh, that's great. Thanks for talking about a hop you could get back five years ago. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I got a fly in my glass. Great. <laughs> this is such an adventure. It is. Freaking outdoors. For John and Mike, BrewDashDudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.